most common questions I see asked on forums online is my clients asking for the raw files, should I give them to them? Now while there are some jobs where that will be part of the job, this is generally for more professional clients, maybe doing an interior shoot for a publication, something like that. These are not the clients we're talking about. We're talking about people like you've shot a wedding for or something and they want the raw files. And my answer to this is always a resounding no. Nope, not happening, no. I've broken this down into five good reasons why you should never give raw files to clients. So reason one to start off is that a lot of people don't actually know what raw files are. I think they think of them as just photos that you haven't edited and their idea of editing probably comes from their idea of when they take photos on their iPhone and they upload them to Instagram and put a filter on it and that's their idea of you know editing a photo and so they think that you've got all these photos that you're holding back from them and they want to they want to see them but I think when they get them they're not going to be able to open them and then you're going to get an email going I can't open them and it ah no secondly they're huge they're really big so if you're going to send a client like 400 photos, 400 raw files are going to be gigs and gigs of information and that's just going to be a massive ball egg. So thirdly, when you're shooting raw and you're a photographer, often you shoot something that you won't come out like the final product. What you will do is you'll shoot and you might underexpose it because you want to bring back some details in the highlight, you might want to recrop, you don't want to edit something out later on. You have, you have a vision and so often when people just look at the raw files they'll just look like bad photos because they won't know what you can do to them. They won't understand your creative vision and they won't understand that you shot something deliberately in that way in order to make something at a later date and so often if people see the unedited photos, they're going to just think you're a bad photographer and they're going to be annoyed. And fourthly, and I think most importantly, your photography is your brand. It's a whole process. It's not just taking the photo, it's not just editing the photo, it's not just having the idea, it's not just the technical ability as a whole, it's the accumulation of all the things. The editing process is a really big part of that. It's your style, it's how you do things. The potential for a raw file is to have it edited to look like a masterpiece of artwork or to look like a turd on a stick. It really depends on the skill and the vision of the person editing it. What you don't want is for someone else to edit your raw file, and put it up online and then credit you with some substandard piece of art that you would not want to put your name to. This would damage your brand, it'll damage your reputation. No. And lastly, number five. Unfortunately, I've learned from experience People lie, clients lie. You give them files and they promise not to put them online and then they upload them. And then you get in contact with them and you say, please don't upload them. It's in our contract that you wouldn't do this. And they go, oh, sorry, and they take them down. Then you check back again in a month and they've uploaded them again. And this is my personal experience. Unfortunately, that's a, something that actually happened to me. And, you know, people upload them and you ask them not to, but they do it. And, you know, what are you going to do, sue them? I mean, I'm not going to sue them. Probably shouldn't say that on a video, should I? No, I'll sue you. Sue your ass. Don't try it. Anyway, you have a whole host of complex issues when it comes to giving clients raw files. So you just have to say no. A raw file is an unfinished piece of art. You do not give it out. It is not finished yet it's not done. A band doesn't release a new pop song before it's been mixed in a studio. It's the same with photography. Unfortunately, people have their own idea of photography because they take photos themselves. You just have to be firm. You have to say no, because you're opening yourself up for a world of pain, if not. But if you have a different opinion, different experience of this, uh, let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll take it from there.